What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this ratchet video started. Someone said I should react to this video, Kali Goddess of Death and Time. I was like, I love my Mahala Kali Mother Goddess. So any video you all want to get to me, I was like, I, I will react to. I will react to, even if this is showing me stuff I already know. I don't care. Uh, anything about my Mother Goddess. If y'all have suggestions, down below. More Mother Goddess suggestions. Well, let's get this started. See what else we can learn about the Mother Goddess. Y'all ready? Let's go. Kali is a Hindu goddess of Indian and Puranic origin. She was worshipped from roughly about 400 common era, but may have been worshipped many, many thousands of years prior to that. Her name is synonymous with the goddess Dorga, and she may be a direct reference to that goddess herself. Her cult centers were chiefly in Bengal, and you can find her in art references as well as literary sources, specifically the Ramayana epic and various other Puranic texts. Kali is the most terrible and malignant aspect of the goddess Sakti. And so she's terrible. seen as an aspect of the goddess of destruction. She is a oh, central well, figure mean, of the Sakti cult in Bengal, and her consort is generally depicted to be Siva, who she aids and embeds in some very malicious type of activities. In her earliest personification, she may have been seen as purely an evil spirit, and she is often depicted with long, ragged hair, fang-like teeth, or tusks, with lips that are either smeared or dripping with fresh blood. What, that's because she, she has claw-like hands, long the women. nails, her tongue often protrudes. She has no special weapon, but is often seen dancing on the prostrate Shiva. Well, she possesses she ten on or sometimes eight arms and is often seen wearing a necklace back. of skulls, a belt of severed arms, earrings of children's corpses, oh, and snakes she as it. bracelets. She often she is half naked. Kali is depicted wading through gore on the battlefield and drinking the blood of her victims. Frequently she holds the head of one in her hands and a large sword in another. I didn't know she had this necklace that At had. cremation site, she sits upon the body of the deceased, surrounded by attendant jackals. And there seems to also be a slightly more benign aspect of Kali. She also slaughters demons at our benefit, and, and sometimes She's her hands are seen raised in blessings. The conflict of her personality follows a widely held notion that out of destruction comes rebirth, and thus she is incredibly important as a deity that destroys and from that destruction new life is Lord Shiva, the destroyer. Kali is the goddess of death, time, and doomsday and is often associated with sexuality and violence. But she is also considered a strong mother figure and symbolically of motherly love. She embodies Sakti, which is female energy, creativity, and fertility and is seen as the incarnation of Parvati who was the wife of the great Hindu god Shiva and she is always depicted in the most fearsome representation of herself. Her name translates to she who is death and as the embodiment of time Kali devours all things and she is ir irresistibly attractive to morals and gods and can represent the benevolence of a mother goddess so there's a great duality in what she represents but primarily she's pretty much bad if you see Shiva unless you see her role as that of keeping balance in the universe which is what her worshippers would say. Too. She is still worshipped in Bengal at the festival of Kali Punja which is held on the night of the full moon at the Kali Hot Temple in the city of Calcutta. There are many versions that tell the story of how she came into life. One version relates that the goddess Durga, who had ten arms, each carrying a weapon and rode on a lion or tiger uh -huh. in the battle, fought with 
Mahisa the Buffalo oh, he's having trouble saying This was names. a particularly fierce <laughs> battle, and Durga became so enraged during the battle that her anger literally personified and bust forth from her forehead in the form of Kali. Once born, the goddess went wild and ate all the demons that she came across, stringing their heads on a chain which she wore around uh, her neck. I don't like that. It seems <laughs> impossible to <laughs> calm Kali's no bloody attacks, which now extend to any people and gods who were unfortunate enough to be in her presence. Fortunately, the mighty Shiva was able to stop Kali's destructive rampage by lying down on her path, and when the goddess realized who she was standing on, she finally calmed down. However you view Kali, she remains an important figure in understanding what the mythology of the Hindus were and what temptations were in terms of one being a destructive force, but that also being the devourer of time and how they would see time ultimately be the one thing that consumes everything around us. And that is what she represents, and it's obviously a necessary she feature talk more about the that we time. extend, that she destroys in, sort, in order for new life to be created. Thank you again for joining us in Nightmare Chronicles to talk more gods and goddesses. So that's interesting, because I mean, you hear a lot of the death, I mean, that's what Mahakali comes and protect her, and she's slaying those demons. God, I didn't know about the, the, the necklace of heads either. I guess I never <laughs> paid attention to all that. But, um, so I, you, I figured, you know, when they called her, you know, the goddess of death, but time, it's still, well, maybe that comes with the doomsday, you know, the doomsday is stuff with the time. I wish they went into more with the time thing, because I get the death, the goddess of death, but they didn't talk too much. I don't think he understood with the time stuff, because he was having trouble, you know, saying some of the words. He was sounding like me, you know, how I struggle saying names and everything. So he was, I don't think he, because he didn't go really go into the time. I don't think he knew. <laughs> I don't think he did. All right, y'all. Well, this was, I most stuff I'm going to tell you I knew. I was calling it before him. I was calling that stuff before him. He taught me a few little things, which I enjoyed. But the biggest thing I wanted to know is more about, you know, the, being the goddess of time and how she factors into that. Maybe just because it's time and, and death are kind of relative to, and, and correlate together in some ways. All right. Let me know what you think or, or you know, if you can explain more about that. Because I would definitely, I love, I love when y'all like comment and, and give me more information about any video I do. You know, any backstory video. And like just the other day, someone commented and um, on the Mahabharat reaction that I did. And told me more about, you know, uh, it was the scene with the disrobing and Krishna. And, and they told me, you know, when that scene was filmed, you know, more details about it, which that's what I'm saying. And other subscribers, like, thanks for telling me that. I didn't know. So, like, we all learn. We all learn from the comments. And I tell you, I read them. I read my comments. So, don't think I know. I try to read them and like them and comment because I... I think we like that's one of the parts that we we cr this creates a discussion. So I just rambled on about that. But yes, the point being, I love your comments and when you give me more information on stuff, and I definitely take it in and and learn from it. So thank you. Let me know what you think. Comment below. Thumbs all that. Until next time. Mwah.